Hey there, welcome to this video on the difference between codomain, image, range, and pre-image. These are important concepts in the world of mathematics, particularly when it comes to understanding functions. In this video, we're going to break down what each of these terms mean and how they differ from each other. First, let's define what a function is. A function is a mathematical object that takes one set called the domain and maps it to another set called the codomain. This function associates each element in the domain with exactly one element in the codomain. For example, consider the function f such that r is mapped to r, where f of x equals x squared. The domain of this function is all real numbers, and the codomain is also all real numbers. You can't consider the codomain the destination of the function. This is where the range or image lives, which we'll get to shortly. This means that for any real number x, f of x will also be a real number. But just because the codomain is all real numbers doesn't mean that every real number is actually output by the function. This is where the concept of image and range comes into play. Let's delve into the image first. Image may refer to three possible scenarios, the image of an element, the image of a subset, and the image of a function. Let's first consider the image of an element. An image of an element may refer to the output of a function when the element is used as an input. More specifically, if A is an element of A, then the image of A under F, which is denoted as F of A, is the value of F when A is inputted. This value, F of A, is known as the output of F for the input A. Suppose the value is B then the function takes the value b if there exists some a in the domain such that f of a equals b, and hence b is the image of a under f. This is denoted as f of a or sometimes as image of f a. For example, let f of x equal x squared be a function that maps real numbers to real numbers. The image of the element 3 under this function is the set 9 since f of 3 equals 3 squared which equals 9. Similarly, the image of the element negative 2 under this function is 4 since f of negative 2 equals negative 2 squared which equals 4. So as one can see, the image of an element under a function is a subset of the function's codomain. Next up, let's talk about the image of a subset. The image of a subset is the set of all output values obtained from applying a function to each element of the subset. More specifically, if we have a function f that maps elements from a set A to elements in a set B, and we have a subset S of A, then the image of S under the function f is the set of all elements in B that are mapped by f from an element in S. The image of a subset is denoted by f of s, and it is a subset of the range or codomain of the function f. To find the image of a subset, we simply apply the function to each element of the subset and collect all the resulting output values in a set. For example, let f of x equal x squared be a function that maps real numbers to real numbers, and let s equal the set 1, 2, 3 be a subset of the domain of f. The image of s under f is the set 1, 4, 9, since f of 1 equals 1 squared, which equals 1, f of 2 equals 2 squared, which equals 4, and f of 3 equals 3 squared, which equals 9. Therefore, f of s equals the set 1, 4, 9. The concept of an image of a subset is useful in many areas of mathematics, including calculus, topology, and algebra, among others. And now finally, let's look at the image of a function. The image of a function is the set of all possible output values that the function can produce when given all possible input values from its domain, and it is a subset of the codomain. More precisely, if we have a function f that maps elements from a set A to elements in a set B, the image of the function f is the subset of B that contains all the elements that are mapped by f from an element in A. The image of the function f is also referred to as the range of the function f. For example, let f of x equal x squared be a function that maps real numbers to real numbers. The image of the function f is the set of all possible output values that can be obtained by squaring any real number. Since any non-negative real number can be obtained as the output of this function, the image of f is the set of non-negative real numbers or 0 to infinity which would also be the range of this function. 
The concept of an image of a function is important in many areas of mathematics, including calculus, topology, and algebra. It allows us to understand the behavior of a function and to analyze its range of output values. Additionally, the image of a function can help us determine whether the function is surjective, which means that every element in the codomain is mapped to by at least one element in the domain. Lastly, it should also be noted here that some older textbooks may refer to the range as the codomain. That is, the codomain is the same as the range and vice versa in some older textbooks. Finally, let's talk about pre-images. A pre-image is simply the set of all X values in the domain that get mapped to a particular Y value in the codomain. In other words, it's the set of all inputs that give us a certain output. More specifically, let F be a function that maps elements from a set A to elements in the set B. If we have an element B in B, then the pre-image of B under the function F is the set of all elements in A that map to B when they are used as inputs for F. The pre-image of B is denoted as F inverse of B, or sometimes as the set A in A such that F of A equals B. For example, let f of x equal x squared be a function that maps real numbers to real numbers, and let b equal 4 be an element in the range of f. The preimage of 4 under f is the set negative 2, 2, since f of negative 2 equals 4 and f of 2 equals 4. Therefore, the preimage of 4 under f is f inverse of 4 equal to negative 2, 2. The concept of pre-image is useful in many areas of mathematics, including algebra, topology, and set theory. It allows us to analyze the inverse of a function, which is a function that maps elements from the range of f back to elements in the domain of f. To summarize, the codomain of a function is the set of all possible output values, the destination of the function, if you will. The range and image are subsets of the codomain. The image is the set of actual output values for a specific input. The range is the set of all possible output values across all inputs. And the pre-image is the set of all possible input values that map to a specific output value. I hope you found this video informative and helpful in understanding these important mathematical concepts. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more informative videos like this. Thanks for watching.